on that day, we were spending the evening in my house. My wife's brother John, his wife Sarah, who is also my niece, were there along with my older sister. They stayed late. It was almost midnight when they decided to go home. The attack on the two houses happened just a half an hour after they left our house. When I heard the shooting, the first thing that came to my mind was my sister and her family, so I called them. The leader of the terrorist group is who answered my call. I was totally shocked. He said, what do you want? I said, I just want to make sure everyone in the house is fine. He answered, everyone is fine, and hung up on me. I grabbed my gun and started running like crazy to my sister's house. When I arrived, they started shooting at me because they knew I was attacking them. I tried to hide behind my brother-in-law's house then the army brought more forces into the area. Both the army and I were trying to enter the house, but they said to stay away. It was their responsibility. The army set up a medical tent for the wounded. They put me there to keep me out of the battle. While in the tent, I knew in my heart that my family had not survived. I felt my heart was a cold stone. My only dream at that moment was to take revenge. I spent five years struggling with two things in my heart, to have revenge and kill those who killed my family. I was angry. I was full of resentment. I was furious and turned into an angry man. On the other hand, the Holy Spirit was speaking to my heart about forgiveness and the love of Christ. I considered this period to be the toughest in my life, struggling between what Jesus said and what the enemy wanted me to do. In 2004, all the churches in the area agreed to hold a revival and they chose our church to hold the meeting. During the preaching, I felt the Lord talking to me directly. The Holy Spirit touched me. All of my anger and rebellion was taken away. I went to the front and kneeled. There, I repented and turned back to the arms of Christ. After that, the Lord put the leader of the Muslim group on my mind. I went to where he was based and I asked to speak to him. He came to me and asked, what do you want? I told him my name is John Raid. I am from Kafar Habbo. I want you to know that those who were killed in that house were my sister and my niece. He was taken by surprise. I said, do not be afraid. I'm not here to kill you. Through the love of Christ, I want you to know that I love you and I forgive you.